Hey guys, just wanted to share some information regarding new tires, the red and yellow dots that you might see on these tires. So I'm 52 years old and I've dealt with cars pretty much all my life. And just every now and then I'll have trouble with trying to find somebody that can mount tires. We've just, I've just had some issues throughout my life. So I've gotten this uh, tire changer, a little $40 tire changer that you can uh, mount on concrete and it does real well. So I can mount tires and since I've been mounting tires, I haven't had any issues with, with, um, with the weights on it. I mean, I get somebody else to balance it, but since I've been doing it, a uh, little research that I've, I didn't realize that what these little red and yellow dots mean. Uh, the yellow dot is actually in the molding process. This would be the lightest area or thinnest area of the tire, whereas the red dot is going to be your thickest or heaviest area of the tire. And they're saying uh, everything that I've researched that the rim is pretty much a perfect balance, but where your valve stem goes, say you've got uh, those air monitors. Uh, to uh, tire pressure sensors in there so that adds weight so now this on a rim is always going to be the heaviest area of your rim and they're saying that if there is a red dot always match the heaviest side of the tire with with the valve stem if there is no red on your tire then this and you do have a yellow one yellow with no other markings and they say put the lightest side with the with the valve stem but this one we've had some uh issues my son loves curbs curbs and uh anyway we decided that that's a little dangerous we got uh so two new tires and just wanted to show some information about this so when i went and got them balanced today because this was I was going to really pay attention that a lot of the videos uh, say you probably if if you mount them this way you'll lose use less weight and I was thinking it'd be under an ounce but this one's actually one and a quarter ounce and I thought well shoot that's not really a, a big difference. Every time I go, even to this guy that uh, we, I sent him to today to get balanced, they don't really pay any attention to these. So, after I got these put back on, on both of these, it's, it's right at a, an ounce. I think this one here is one and a quarter ounce. But only, only one weight. Again, red dot at the bottom, heaviest, matching the valve stem. But when I come back, I remember pulling pulling the uh, weights off of the other tire that we had somebody put on. I, did, I didn't mount these. And these are actually two ounce weights. These are huge. So this is a two ounce. And on the other tire was a one and three quarter ounce. So these are huge, huge, huge weights. My point is that, you know, this is huge. And if you got this, this has a tendency, the bigger you get with these weights, they'll have a tendency to, to fling off. So my point is that I'm, I'm realizing and I wanted to share with you guys, there may be some truth to this. Um, so I don't have these big weights on them. On the other side, just wanted to show you that when you don't, because these, these were not, I mean, these are old tires. They're about four years old on this side. I probably should have replaced these two, but look, look at this. Two and a quarter ounce, and plus over here, a little half ounce. That, that's what they're getting at. If you mount the red dot with these, you won't have all this. It's less trouble to balance it. You won't have all this weight less weight if you go with the red dot on the valve stem um another story on this i'm about to 
get some new tires for my Trailblazer. These, I, I bought the Trailblazer with these tires on there, and I get some vibration when you're on interstate around 70, 75, but then it goes away when you get up to 80. Um, one out of the four has these type weights on it. I like sticky weights, so I, when I'm going to get new tires on this, I'm going to see if that makes a difference going down the highway in this one. On this one, I mounted the tires myself, got them balanced, and they put the weights on the ends. Actually, I got sticky weights on these. And with this, after mounting them myself, making sure that the red dot was where the valve stem is, I don't get any vibration on interstate. None. So I'm thinking there's some truth to this. I know that most tire places say that's not a big deal, but I'm really thinking it makes a difference. I know for a fact with me mounting them, especially on this one here, I get no vibration going down the highway at all. It's smooth. With this one that I did not mount, it has vibration at certain speeds and I'm thinking once I get new tires and put the red dot where it should be and get them balanced I want to try that and see if I still get that vibration um, road testing this I haven't gone up the interstate speeds on this but uh, everything should be fine anyway just wanted to pass some information along to you um, hope this helps